Hey everybody, welcome to Road to Becoming a Programmer, where we take you, the viewer, and make you a full-on programmer. In today's video, we're focusing on web development, you're watching the web development playlist, and we're going to be talking about list in HTML. We always take things and dissect them to two parts. We take every subject and dissect them to two parts. The first one, the first video, is about actually teaching the subject, and the second one is about doing exercises and projects. And you're watching a project video for our list video. If you haven't watched my previous one, make sure to uh, click on a card or uh, check the description for my previous HTML list video so you can uh, understand what's going on in here. And if you want to uh, just watch the project video without watching the previous one, that's fine too. But that said, uh, make sure to watch my videos. I upload a, a single, I upload two videos per week, one on Saturday and one on Friday. And you're watching a uh, project video. My project videos usually come out on Friday and my lesson videos usually come out on Saturday. So that's it, enough talking. Make sure to like the video, comment down below about any questions you might have and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Okay, so here we have our project for today. And by the way, make sure to take a screenshot with your phone or whatever device you're using. And we're just gonna start looking at it and examining it. So here we have our first uh, first part of our project. We just write a very basic on order list. It has, you know, the usual filled in, filled in circles. Then we have an, a normal ordered list. Then we move on to an ordered list, but this time it's different from the previous one. This one starts at 10. Right? It starts at the 10th, uh, and it starts at the 10th uh, Roman, numeral, Roman numeral. And it's uppercase in Roman numeral as well, right? So we're gonna do this. And then uh, we have an unordered list uh, nested within an ordered list. So we have an ordered list that inside of it, you know, in for its third item, it has an unordered list inside of it. It's nested inside of it. So yeah, make sure to uh, pause the video, go and actually write the code for this, do this project, and then come back and look at the result. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm the one to get it, bro. I swear to God, I'll get it, bro. Hey, I ain't never giving up. Yeah, I never give up. I got this, man, I got it. I will rock when I'm on it. Never rock it. Got the block when I'm toxic. Spitting logic. Make a nauseous, honest. Can I stop this? Never cautious. Drop it. I'm the hardest. Knock, knock, bitch. Watch it. I'm the fucking king of rock, bitch. Pop it. Spitting hot shit. I'm popping. Chronic. I think I'm about to fucking lost it. Make it back, matter of fact. Make it wax where it's at. Have my back to the mat. Not in that. That's a fact. We attack in a back. So we act, so we act. Think I'm black off his ass. While I'm black, comes a step. Throw a jab, give a crap. We're in bands, I'm the best. Got a plan better than most brands. God damn, I'm a rhyme till I die. Never lie, that's a lie. I don't Working on a movement, yeah, I'll do it Cause I'm in the zone And you know that I'm ready for the shows How it goes, I don't know But I'm waiting till I'm chose Run, roll, here I go All these people wanna know What you think of them lately Do you really love me Or do you really hate me On a scale of 1 to 10 What would you grade me All this social media has got me going Okay, so here we are with the actual site that we just made and I didn't add any styling to it because I wanted to make it look exactly the same way that we see in our practice so, or I guess I should see in our exercise file. So here it is, you know, it looks, let me just um, do this here, it looks basically the exact same and now we're gonna look at the code. So there's not really much to say for the first two, you know, it's just a normal unordered list and then we have a order list, you know, pretty basic stuff. And we have paragraphs, you know, to put this information inside of. And then this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So in my previous video, I forgot to talk about the start attribute and what it does. So basically, the start attribute can be used for both ordered lists and unordered lists. And what it does is that, you know, it tells the browser where you should start counting. For example, let's say you have a list and, you know, uh, or you have two lists, you know. The first one uh, talks about the items from number 1 to number 10. But then the second one talks about the items for number 11 to number 20, right? So, you know, you want to make your your um, second list and, you know, you want to tell it to start from number 11 or number 10. So this way, you know, if you go and check our site, it starts from 11. And we set it to uh, Roman uh, numerals, you can see our styling, 
to upper Roman numerals. So it looks, you know, the, the way the Excel wanted us to make it look like. So yeah, uh, two things basically, you teleport to start, you add the class, so we can, you know, uh, if we just, you know, said, uh, use, you know, OL, you know, order list, then uh, both our order lists would get this property, we get the elixir style type property. But it didn't want us, we just added a class to it. Then, you know, another paragraph, then we move on to our last list, which is a nested list. We have an order list and then an unordered list inside our order list. So, uh, order list, you know, is pretty normal stuff. There's not much to say. Then we move on to our unordered list. I actually added the BR here for break line. This is actually not necessary. So, let me show you what I mean. If you had the BR right here, you know, for example, you want to make it look the way it's like in the exercise, right? And, you know, we reload the page and, you know, we added an extra line there. But if you go back and just remove the BR and see what happens, save it, run the page, it still moves our unordered list uh, to the next line, right? Adding a BR adds an extra line, yes, but it's not necessary, you know, it's not, it's not going to put this list right next to our order list item. So yeah, that's it for this project. Thank you for watching. And um, before that, uh, before we end the video, here's some exercise that I want you, you guys to do. Uh, go to this side right here. I'll leave a link for it in the description and do the list exercises right here. And they're pretty easy. There's like six of them. They're super easy to do. And you can do them with what I've taught in my previous two videos. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching till the very end. And I want to say that I want to ask you guys to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below if you had any problem, any troubles or any problem with this video. And definitely don't forget to like since it helps out the video a ton. It's a great way to support me. And turn on notifications since, you know, YouTube doesn't work right. We all know that it just you know, sometimes works, it sometimes doesn't. And with that said, thank you so much. With that said, um, that's the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you guys next time.